Hello everyone, I hope you're well and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to this day in the life of me, a junior doctor working in respiratory medicine. Today is a special day because it is actually my last day of working as a foundation doctor. Nevertheless, this does not make me any more excited to wake up around 6.30 in the morning. Why do I look like a sim when I walk? I get ready and showered, thinking nostalgically about how quickly two years have gone, then realise I have no time for this and I'm getting very late, and rush downstairs to pack my lunch for the day. Sadly, in my rush, this is the only part of that that I managed to capture. It's time to hit the road now, just as soon as I've got my lunch, my raincoat, a small present for my educational supervisor, and my huge bag full of God knows what, when all a junior doctor really needs to function is a decent black pen. If you know me, you know I hate driving. No, it isn't a natural talent, as you may have guessed, but my drive to work is my haven, my time to myself where I can eat, drink, perform for my fans, and generally mull over life. Over two years, I've really grown to love this half an hour commute. So even though I pay for the pleasure of parking at work, it's like 30 pounds a month, you have to get to work 45 minutes early, half an hour early to even find a spot. And then if you don't find a spot, you have to pay to park, which is great. But today I found a space in like two seconds. This may seem like an over celebration, but honestly, I find the lack of parking more stressful than the job itself most mornings. Can we please sort this out NHS? The next obstacle is to face the scrubs lottery. I've managed to find some bottoms, but there are no tops left in my size. So it's another day of looking like a bright blue potato sack. Monday mornings can be chaotic on a medical ward. As junior doctors, we prep the notes, where we review all the patient's observations, test results, and notable events over the weekend, then summarize it to capture the patient's current situation and issues. This is to prepare for the ward round, where a senior doctor, usually a consultant, reviews each patient at the bedside. They then make a management plan for the patient, and we write down any jobs we need to do as we go along. I'm in the changing room filming myself, which is a bit weird. Finished the walk round. It's um, almost lunchtime, almost 12 o'clock, which is pretty good. Sometimes walk rounds, especially medical walk rounds, can go on for like the whole day. And you finish at 3, 4 p.m. Then you've got all the jobs from the walk round to do as well, which is always a recipe for disaster. So yeah, really good that we finished today before lunch. So we've got new doctors starting on Wednesday. It's lovingly known as Black Wednesday, which is a bit morbid. The new doctors have come a few days early to just shadow and get to know the wards. So I've got two on my ward and usually there's 15 patients and I'm doing the ward round and the jobs for all of them by myself. But today I've got two um, new doctors who are literally just doing discharge summaries and bloods now so I can come here and film, which is nice, but not very reflective of a normal day, I have to say. Normally I would be frantically getting through jobs so I could have lunch at a reasonable time. I'm gonna go and help the other juniors with a few more things we can finish off before lunch and then probably go and eat soon, I think. Before lunch is the time to do the most pressing ward jobs. This usually includes urgent bloods, discussions with other teams in the hospital and booking imaging such as x-rays and CT scans. If you're on the respiratory ward, we will take a picture of your lungs. Whilst the new F1 doctors head to yet another induction session, I head to lunch. The nursing team have my details in case they need to contact me urgently, but in the meantime, I enjoy a leisurely lunch and once again despair about not meeting my water targets. On my return, I find a new patient has been sent up to the ward from the emergency department as they have a pleural empyema, which is a buildup of pus in the lining of the lungs. The treatment for this is the insertion of a chest strain, so I call my senior so I can help her insert one. I couldn't take much more footage of this process, but here is my stunning artwork as a respectable substitute. Here are your lungs. They are surrounded by a thin sheet of tissue called a pleura, shown here in pink. There are two layers of pleura, and in between them is a small space filled with a little fluid. This space can fill with things we don't want there, such as air, excess fluid, and in the case of this patient, pus. This can make the patient feel very sick and cause breathing difficulties and fever. A chest strain is inserted on the ward by injecting local anaesthetic into the chest wall, making an incision with a scalpel and then feeding through the chest strain tube and connecting it to a drain. 
This patient kindly allowed me to film their chest drain after it had been draining for a couple of hours. Here's all the gross pus we've drained out of the lungs so far. He'll need this drain for a few days and antibiotics plus regular blood tests and x-rays to check the infection is resolving. All of this takes me to pretty much the end of the day. I book blood tests for the patients who need one for the next morning and update the ward list. And then I head back to my precious car park space one last time. So that's my last shift done as a F2 doctor, as a foundation doctor and in the NHS for a little while at least it feels really weird I mean I've literally driven to work and back endlessly for two years and to know I'm not going to do it again or you know do that drive again is a really strange feeling I've been thinking about how we all started as absolute baby doctors two years ago I was so nervous and scared of what was to come and it didn't feel ready as I'm sure most people do and I've learned a lot obviously about being a doctor in medicine and all of that stuff but just a lot about what I want from life and what things are important to me and you know all the stuff about appreciating your life a bit more your health the things we get to see every day I think I'm almost glad I do as horrible as they are because it just keeps reminding you how precious life is, how precious your time on this earth is. I think it's important to be repeatedly grounded about that. So yeah, I'll always be really grateful to be in this line of work and I will definitely can't see myself doing anything different as much as there are downsides. So yeah, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss this place. It's been a really nice team. So ah, I think I'm just rambling now. So I'm going to end this here and hopefully in vlogs to come i will see you in australia It'll be interesting to look back on how the working days may be different or similar so got that to look forward to so do subscribe if you want to keep in touch with that journey and find out more about what it's like working in australia and yeah anyway that's enough i think someone has clocked that i'm talking to myself so i'm definitely gonna go now and see you soon and that's the end of my day in the life as a junior doctor Thanks so much for watching.